Okay, just finalising the paperwork for the red cover this weekend. Meanwhile, Chris, Russ and Neil are outside packing the vehicle with our medical kit. That's all loaded up. All we've got to do now is get in the car and drive for about five hours. Great fun. This is uh, Neil's little abode. He always likes to sleep by the, the roaring gas fire because he's got no air. <laughs> it gets a bit cold. You do get cold. We've had an amazing night tonight because uh, they had no accommodation for us, which is not entirely true, but one of the teams had nicked our keys and just was hiding on a like 139 caravan estate. Um, but fortunately, Bob, the coolest security guard in the world, went and knocked everyone up and found our keys. So we're now no, 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 in no. bed. No, no, no. He went and woke everyone up. He did not knock everyone up. That's a very important medical <laughs> distinction that we will be... Found Ross's bedroom. <laughs> yeah. It's right here. Classy. I can sleep standing up. Brilliant. Well, let's get some sleep and crack on with more clusters tomorrow. Find out what awaits. A little while ago they got called uh, pitch side for um, a bit of a, well, a chest injury uh, and it turned out it was a, a mid-lows bloke who's had a racing pulse of about 220 which would have been barely acceptable had he just scored a winning try but in actual fact he was just a spectator so that was a bit interesting. Um, but the guys had a curved on three of them out, the three of them had collapsed in, but uh, the guys had a few of them the last day. It's very much like this. It's, it's Mm -hmm. If it had been 10 years ago, it would have been a few years But it was only 10 years ago. So, 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 Nearly three o'clock, we've had quite a, a hectic day in comparison to normal with these events. Um, a lot of minor injuries, we've just had a bloke go on, a, on through a spine or potential spine injury onto the old ambulance, so hopefully he's alright. Um, he probably will be, statistically there's very little chance of him having a serious injury, but obviously you've got to play it safe. So we've immobilised him at the scene, got him all strapped and boarded and just handed over to uh, an NHS crew, um, and they've taken him in to see how he goes. But uh, other than that, boring, eating peanuts. This is Chris then, so Chris, tell us uh, how your day's been so far. Entertaining and invigorating. I love my life. It's coming back again next year. How have you found today then? Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been alright, isn't it? Tiring. Too bad? Yeah, yeah, busy day. Just pretty tiring. Let's find out how that kid does with a spine injury tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna chase him up. This is your fridge. Had a long old day, so uh, Neil's making most of the uh, the free power. We're all uh, sweating our nuts off a bit at the moment because we came in and found that he'd left the old gas fire on all day. 14 hours. 14 hours straight, it's fantastic. <laughs> We're going to be in our pants later on, having a great old time after the pasta. What you ought to do is yeah. a first aid tent and a pancake tent. Yes, I think I think I should have a pancake tent everywhere we go. Breakfast. Yes. Yeah. You had a guy come in when you were away. Great sun cream into his eyes. Um, but you want it over. You want it over your ear to keep your ear back. You're right. Though, you want to <laughs> Sorry? Just nipped in the van quick to give you an update on the last hour and a half. It's been absolutely manic as games are intensifying and the kids are getting tired. Loads of minor injuries. At one point we had the three of us out on the ground, one immobilising a, a spine 
Uh, another one dealing with head injury, which takes quite a lot of time because we have to observe them carefully and, and do some good obs on them. Uh, and another one was one of the uh, the kind of event officials who uh, was feeling ill, took a turn for the worst, and had a little collapse. Uh, we think there's nothing wrong with him too badly. A bit of dehydration, uh, maybe a lack of food, and a lot of work and stress. Um, Having said that, we've uh, we've got him checked out of the hospital. Uh, I'm no doubt he'll be back with us soon, but uh, just to make sure there's no TIA or anything going going bad inside his head, um, I think he'll be fine. But in the meantime, we can't dwell on that. We've got more people to see, and they're queuing up outside the tent at the moment. So uh, I'll give you an update later. All right, mate. Yeah. Um, it won't be as good as ice, to be honest, or something similar, but it'll, yeah, it might help a little bit, yeah, yeah not so right. bad. Just make sure that you don't put it on too close to his game, obviously, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, 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 no. Does that feel alright?